So are you still trying your hardest to beat this stupid portals chapter 2 or whatever you want to call it? Here's a tutorial on how to actually beat the thing and some tips and tricks along the way while trying to beat it. I hope you enjoy because like... This, this took me two hours to record man please! So when doing this one, the first flash you have to look at him all times while moving backwards with your S key. Uh. Then when it flashes again, like that, you have to look away and just run through this red box over here. As soon as you pass it, there's another flicker. You look back at him, then you walk behind through the portal, and then you're done with the first one. When doing this one, it was quite challenging to figure out. What I would recommend is going to your graphics quality and turning it all the way down to one bar. Now you can see what the, like, the lines actually look like. So, when it goes past you again, like this, you walk. It will crouch you so it makes you go slower. You have to jump over the lines, which I know is going to be very hard, but like, you'll get the gist of it. What I did is you walk to the lines, then jump. So you know when to jump for me it's just more simpler and easier for me also be patient with this one don't rush it if you rush it you will get even more frustrated with yourself trust me i did as well now that you've done that just walk through the portal then you're done now you're on vent this one is really actually really easy all you have to do is follow the purple orb look around for purple orbs and just follow the purple orbs then i'll just take you to the portal as you can see here i just follow all the purple orbs i take a risk turn here i didn't know it was actually that way but then we go to that one and the portal is just there and now you're in room five nursery so when doing this one you have to hold e on the you have to do it in the order you did it the first time. If you don't, it will mess everything up and you can't hold E on the second teddy bear. If you don't hold E and don't do it in time, Mr. Stitchy will spawn. Then, when he spawns, it will reset your time. Every time it flickers with a sort of number, like 130, 100, 30, that's how much time you have left. Just like that. 130, all that. After you've done that for... One hour, no, not one hour, one minute and 30 seconds, you're good to go, a portal will open. And there's the portal. As you can tell, I didn't actually go to the portal first. I wanted to get this teddy bear out the way. So I knew I had enough time to get to the portal and go on to level 6. Now you're on farm room 6. Which, in my opinion, is one of the, just the most annoying ones out of them all. It's just so annoying! It's a literal maze. You just have to find the purple one. One time, I just went through, like, loads of portals, and then I just found it. I didn't do it this time. Also, a tip for this, you can just... You don't have to turn around when he... 
um, when he appears, all you have to do is just look down, and you're good to go. I'm going to speed this up because this is so boring. I think I was on that level for around five whole minutes and I found the portal. Walk for it, you're on room seven, full room. This one you have to stay in the light and pull a width of five levers. There's two on the left room, on the left side of the room. There's one on the right side of the one on the right side of the room, two on the stage. As you can see, I pulled one on the left side, and then I'll take a risk, which you are going to have to take risk in this one. You go to different types. As you can see, he spawned and then he disappeared. So now I'm going to the right one. I pull it. Then we stay in the light. You have to stay in the light. You go for the middle one. Work your way up the stairs. Go to the light. Pull that lever. Then when you walk over here, stay in the light, remember, or she will die. Actually, no, you won't die. You will just get chased. You don't really want to do that. And then you pull that lever. And there's one still on the left side to be pulled. It's going diagonal. At this point, I tried to risk it for that one. But then I realized, oh, no, nah, it's too far. I'm going to die. And then you go here. And you go back here. Just in case... And then you walk back, and when you know you're safe, you go to it, and you have a direct way to the final lever. When you pull it down, you, there's a portal appears on the stage, and you can just go in it. Then you've beaten roommate. Congrats, you finally beat the map. I absolutely hate! Um, now you have to choose the portals. I'm gonna tell you how many you had, because they're not random, they're all the same. You had six potions. You had six terrors. I know there's eight out of all of them, but the first one and the last one don't count. It's literally just six. Count the potions on how many you have, and go in the portal. Swear to God, if you messed this up, mate, I... This portal has six potions in front of it. You walk in, you get awarded the Sen skin from last year. If you already had the Sen skin, you get a recolored version. And they find it as the Golden Sen skin. And you get some walking dead screen, mate. I don't even know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this um, tutorial. I hope it helped you guys out a lot. I probably didn't. I'm literally just showing gameplay of it. It's literally not that hard to understand. But anyway, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, have fun suffering if you haven't beaten it the first time. Not my fault. <laughs>